So we're going to kind of tie this all up and uh, you know, we're going to add some styling and really add a couple of custom features here and just kind of piece all this together. So right now, um, what we've got here in the, in the shelf items is it's very simple, it's very basic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, this is the exact same item. What I've done is I've actually added an image here. By this having a class of item thumb, um, it's going to actually take this and show it in our cart when we when we call for it later on. Um, so this item is going to be linked to this image here. Um, we changed the item price on it and the size here. We've added a, uh, a size selection here. The class of item size is going to um, tell simple cart that this is you know this is our item size. Um, so those are the only two things that have changed on this. Uh, everything else is the same. So I'm just going to delete this old one because that is the same. Uh, it's just doesn't have the extra stuff. And then I'm going to actually just t uh, I'm going to copy these. I've already written them out. These are all just more items. Um, they're exactly the same as this other one. They're just different color towels. That's really it. Um, so we've got that added in here. We're going to go take a look at our index really quick and you can see how the there's no styling on this it's all laid out clunkily and uh, you, you know you got the pictures here were added in the size was added in but it still looks not quite as nice as it could be so I'm gonna actually just show you what the styling looks like so this is a little cleaner as we go here once I add some styling you can see that this lays it out a lot nicer um, you know kinda cleans it up a little bit and you can see a little bit better what what I've actually done here um, so when I want to add something to the cart here, I can actually add a size. Um, when I get to the cart, um, again, I, I've got the styling added in here, but it's nothing else has changed. It's not still not showing me the, the thumbnail, and it's still not showing me the size of each item. So I'm going to go through and show you how to do that. You can also see that these images that I put on these links, um, they still have the, the plus and the minus above them. And I'll show you how to get rid of that. Um, so if we go into our theme, this is where we're going to uh, customize what our cart looks like. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste this code and we'll go through and talk about what this all means. Um, so what this is doing right now is this cart columns thing um, right here. Uh, it was just using a default before, so it was using all the def default attributes and things like that. And so it's just showing you what, what comes out of the box with. Um, so to add the image, um, I've added this line of code here. The label just means that above it, so right here is the label. Uh, if I say false, it won't have anything, so the uh, increment and decrement things are also at false, uh, as you can see right here. Um, and then by adding a, a blank piece of text here, it's actually making the uh, plus and the minus signs disappear. The default is to have a plus and a minus in that. Um, so I've got the name which was there before. I added the size uh, into here. We got the price, the view is the currency, um, the decrement, quantity, increment, total, and the remove is all stuff that was there before. Uh, the reason that all of that is there is you can't just add to what the default is. You actually have to, to put in all of the default values that you want to keep there. Um, as well as adding in anything that you want to change. So if you're going to change from the default, you have to actually add in each each line of code. But um, this is it, though. This is the the only amount of JavaScript you actually have to put in here is this. So once I save this, you'll see that when I refresh here, um, you get the little thumbnail. It shows you the size that you've selected for this one. Um, so right now I have a blue beach towel. It's medium. If I go back to the home page and I add you know, a large blue beach towel, and I head back to our cart here. You can see that they're separate. They're, you know, there's one medium and one large. Um, you know, I can add and subtract these like before. And it's all laid out a lot nicer than it was before. Um, and I'm going to say the one thing that was a little bit tricky to figure out with this, and uh, once I figured it out, it wasn't too too tricky. But to actually add the styling in on this, um, there will, I didn't find a whole lot on how to do it. Um, so when I when you get here. You know, there's not a whole lot of stuff that we added to our 
to our code here, but there's a lot of things that are going on in the background, especially when you look at the cart. There's really not much going on in the cart, um, but when you head to the cart, there's you know there's a lot of stuff here that needs to be styled. And so the way that I did this, it was really simple actually, was just going into Firebug. Uh, so if you pull Firebug up here, um, and I just select, you know, whatever it is that I want to style, I can just hover over it and I can look down here in the Firebug and I can see the class that, that I'm hovered over and, you know, figure out exactly how I want to style that. So in this, you know, I can see my simple cart items inside the table. So when I go into my CSS, um, right here, you can actually see my simple cart items table. And that's how I've st styled the table and then the different individual elements inside the table. Um, so the styling really wasn't too difficult uh, once I figured out that the firebug really helps a lot with that. And that's pretty much the basic how to get moving with uh, SimpleCart.